All right, let's get into it. JDG versus BLG. Kalista Varus, Ash, Senna, Rakanbans. Mamma mia. Oh, Nico's enabled as well. Lucian first pick. What are they going to play into Lucian here, BLG? Zeri? Caitlyn? They're going to play Caitlyn Melio into it? Make them play Lucian Nami? Is this, is this Maokai's OP patch? Oh, Viant Lucian's really good, though. So they get Lucian Melio. They're going to play Caitlyn Lux, I guess. I can't remember which patch is the Karma patch, but Caitlyn Karma's decent. It's not the best, though. Kanavi Lee Sin, nice. They could have picked Kasante here as well. But Bin's Jax is open, so maybe they're scared of blinding Kasante. I think Flandre might get gapped this series, though. How did they play two more games in JDG? Because uh, the schedule is really weird. There's like 19 teams, right? So like, or 17 teams or something. So it's bound that some people play more. Oriana, I would be surprised to do Oriana on three. Yeah, Karma Flex is better. Or Lux is good too. Caitlyn Lux, Caitlyn Karma. Nice. I think JDG, uh, Oriana ban is good. BLG, Azir ban is not bad. I mean, what's open? There's uh, Karma, Azir, Oriana. It's basically it. I mean, they could ban Knights LeBlanc as well with these champs. Sin Zhao is kind of annoying to play against. So JDG could ban LB Ori and they could ban like Azir. Oh, they banned Udyr. Maybe they want to blind Kasante or something on four and then just counter mid. But I think giving count pick to Bin is better. Akali ban. Maybe they want Oriana. But if he picks it, they can trade Azir. So they ban Karma. I think JDG should not ban either Oriana or Azir now. They should probably just ban Kasante or Jax. They ban Rumble. I mean, I personally here would take away. Actually, they have to take Oriana, I think. Because if they take Kasante or Jax or top. And they take Oriana, then Knight has to play what into Oriana because he can't play a zero, that's fraud. So they are gonna take the Xante on four. I mean Flanner is gonna play Aatrox and they're probably gonna pick Oriana, right? I mean they should pick Oriana away from Knight, they shouldn't pick a zero. He's probably gonna pick LeBlanc, isn't he, into Oriana? Nar, yeah, you could play Nar. I think Nar Aatrox are fine. Oh, he's gonna play Hui. Yagao's gonna play Hui? What the hell? Flandre's gonna play Yone? What the fuck? Who are these people? Okay, there we go. There's the Aatrox. TF top for Flandre? Damn. There's a Blanc on five. Talia on five. Wow, interesting. So, I mean, it's a global. I thought they would really go for the Blanc there. I don't know how mid matchup is the Blanc Hui. Alright, this is the best of what the LPL has to offer, basically. Unless you include top esports, these are definitely the two best teams. I guess you could say IG as well, but they're, they could be one series at least, we'll see. NIP as well, but NIP are kind of fraudulent, I think. But they're good, NIP is good. But I'm just saying this is definitely like two of the top three slash top four teams in the league. BLG definitely top one. Subscribe. Now. All right, JDG versus BLG, boys and girls. All right, well, Elk just queued nothing. I guess he was trying to aim at Ruler. But Ruler is Elk's father, so let's see how he does down here. Caitlyn Lux should perma push and murder them early. Mid matchup, they should have push two. Top, I think TF just rolls. Lucian has zero CS. He'll get one, I'm sure. God, this looks horrible for Lucian. As long as Vi covers spot, they should be fine. Right now, the pathing of Sin Zhao is like, they know because they watered his uh, Raptors level 1. And they water Tribush, so they'll know if he goes for blue side invade, but he can't do that because he has no bot push and mid can collapse really easily, right? So he's probably just going to full clear up. Vi might look for an early bot dive. If uh, JT take bad trades. I mean, look at this. This is 16 to 1 in CS, 17 soon. Massive stacking wave. Nice trade by Yagao. God, this is horrible to play as JDG. Lucian Melio into Caitlyn, and your jungler's pathing top. I mean, there's nothing that he can do since our right. If he pathed bot, what's gonna happen? He's gonna get pushed out by Vi because they have push. He's gonna lose crab and he's gonna have to backtrack anyway. So, so Konami gets top crab. Whoa, Rune is trading back quite nicely. Looks like they've lost lane control a bit here because they're out of potions. Their jungler's uh, bot side though, so that should cover them pretty easily. I think they need to. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice poke by JDG. This is really bad for BLG bot lane. Nice binding there by On. Oh, nice Q by Ruler. He has biscuits as well to get mana back. Elk's kind of fucked here. They actually got pushed out a bit here on the 2v2. Yeah, Ruler's using the biscuits. Obviously, he needs to wait for his jungler. On took the cannon. I think BLG bot lane just needs to take a bad base here. It's not ideal to base on this wave, right? That was the cannon wave. There's two two range waves coming now. So what's Elk gonna do? Because Vi needs to clear her top camps. So that means that Lucian and Emilio can push out. This is horrible for Caitlyn. She needs to stay. And if she stays, she's gonna get dove. So what does Elk do? He's staying. He's being really greedy and staying. So he's calling Lux to stay with him. Because there's a chance he just gets dove. 
So now Shun's fucked his pathing. He ran down to cover them, and now he's running back up, and now he's running back down. You can see it's just a mess from bot lane. So now he's fucked his pathing. They're question mark pinging his raptors, wondering where the fuck this Vi is. Why is she bot side? But this could come back to help them, because JDG is actually being a bit greedy here. They're not covering bot, they're playing for Drake. So let's see if they can make the play. Oh, there's the dash forward. They're not even going to go for it. They need to Q flash on Lux, but he has cleanse. And now their time window's gone. They can cover the Drake. And BLG are losing through bot with Caitlyn Lux. Now Ruler needs to base, or he needs to push this one quick in base. Like, I think BLG have scuffed the game through bot, because the beauty of this is Tops winning in isolation, right? And Vi is, is, is playing top since playing bot. The trade-off should be JDG wins top, BLG wins bot. That's the trade-off based on pathings as well, right? But what ended up happening is JDG is winning top and now JDG is actually winning bot as well. I think being even against Caden Lux and getting a push out and a free base is winning. Caden Lux should be having you under tower all game. Why didn't Vi check Dragon? I think the reason was because Vi thought that Sin Zhao was through lane. And that's fine if JDG wants to do Drake, but if Vi knows he's on Drake, he can die. So it's a bit, that's why I said it was quite greedy. So JDG get Drake, bot push, top push, and grubbies. And they got mid flash, but Knight is a bit down in creeps. He's gonna have to take a base here. He's gonna cancel as well, so Yagao's uh, Knight's in a bit of a struggle right now. I would say Yagao's definitely winning this lane. Because Knight's gonna take a terrible base here. Yagao's just gonna fast push and he's gonna be up like 15, 20 CS. Alright, BLG have got their bot push back now. But I mean, look at the CS. He's gonna be about 50, 51, 52 by the time that wave dies. Oh, that hit, that binding. Nice trading here by BLG. It's Armageddon in bot. They've got lane control for now, but they haven't really gotten a big lead. Two plates and a tiny CS lead for the sacrifice for losing Drake and Grubbies. Don't tell me they're gonna die to this as well. Yeah, Kanavi's scared that Vi is camping around here. And he is kinda correct, but she's moving mid now. He has a window. He could flip it. He's flipping it. They're gonna go for Lux here. I think they're looking for Lux only. Oh, the R flash was clean by Kanavi. Oh, missing Q, flash queued for no reason. Alright, so missing didn't, shouldn't have flashed there. That was a waste. What they would have had is 2 for 0 and uh, 2 for 1 in flashes, but now it's 2 for 2. But Kate and Lux having no sums is mega good for uh, the opposing team. Just really hurts their pushing power. Oh, Bin might all in here. Oh, he missed Q. He's gonna all in anyway. Oh, he didn't W the stun card either, and he missed Q again. What is he doing? That was actually dog shit. Oh, flash. Fight in mid. Oh, nice cover by Kanavi, but Yagao might be one shot. First blood over to Knight. Missing's here, but he has no flash. Shun flashes out. TF used ult to try and solo kill top, but uh, he didn't get it. Oh, Bin, you're so greedy. I guess it's because Knight is going to ult top right now, but he has flash and ghost. There's a small chance he lives. Okay, he just doesn't use anything. I thought he was going to flash ghost down, but I guess he doesn't want to. So, BLG, despite having losing lanes, is finding kills where they shouldn't, I think. Mid kill is acceptable, top kill isn't. I think maybe Flandre could have lived there. Or maybe he could have just backed off if... Uh, I don't know I don't know what their vision situation on Knight was. Maybe they thought Knight based. Yeah, I guess they thought Knight based. I'm not sure. So here I thought the TF would run down with Ghost. And then maybe flash if Talia flashed, but he didn't. But it is what it is. But bots even, which is great for JDG. So the game is stable. You can see even with like two kills, they're up 500 goldish, mainly because of TF passive, first strike, CS differences. So the game is fine. They still have three winning lanes. So Shun's gonna cover through bot, missing no flash. Ruler's chunked. He has no ult yet though. Shun, what's the build on TF? I think he goes Static Shiv into, um, I don't know, I've been seeing Kraken into Rapid Fire. I've been seeing Static Shiv into Rapid Fire into Kraken. Uh, I personally like the Kraken build the most. Kanavi's constantly covering mid. He knows that Vi ult into Talia combo is mid lane instead, so it's good these around mid. So, BLG's taking a reset. I don't have a Drake timer, but I'm guessing it's in around a minute and a half. Oh, they just took it. What the fuck? When did they take Drake? Am I blind? When the fuck did they take Drake? Am I high? I thought it didn't spawn yet. A yeah, Storm Razor. Damn, that Lucian is mega strong. I wonder how much gold he's gotten from first strike. Okay, they have good pressure bot here, BLG. They have mid push with Talia leaning. They have a little bit of vision to work with for picks on Lux bindings. And here comes one. They're not gonna commit to it. 
Okay, On's going to try and chunk him, but they didn't want to commit. Talia wasn't close enough, I guess. Well, that tower is taking a lot of damage, though. I want to see TF right now. He's up 20 CS, he has his passive, and he has six grubbies to blast that tower down. But JDG have a big problem through bot right now. I'd love to see like him take a reset or lean towards mid somehow to relieve pressure, to relieve bot. You can relieve lanes by progressively transitioning down. So like, for example, Flandre could fast push top here and base and run through bot with ult. Or run through mid with ult. And that'll relieve pressure from top to mid to bot. Because right now they have a big problem where this, there's like, it's like a storm is brewing, right? They're gonna die bot soon and JDG need to answer it somehow. Like, they're getting so much pressure through mid to bot that Ruler is just constantly scared. So, I think Konami's gonna base and run out bot. Either they're gonna dive bot, kill mid, or they're gonna contest red. One of the three is gonna happen, I think. Unless Vi just goes up and clears camps. Okay, the tower's dead, so I think they guess the play is off, right? They pressured enough to get the tower. Just give turret, and we're fine. He must have a big item here, then. He must have uh, Storm Racer as well. Do they swap top now, actually? Herald spawn? No, they're gonna go mid. So instantly as Herald spawns BLG base with almost everyone, and they go into a 1-3-1. One one. Kate and Lux base after bot tower runs mid, Talia bases as they base to run top, and then Tessante bases as they base to run bot. So they have a 1-3-1 one one for Herald. It looks like there's a match here from JDG, which is really nice. Trying to stop the TF base though, you can see Knights chasing the TF to stop his re recall. Doesn't really do much, I get that they want to start Herald right now and delay the TF, but he's got ult anyway, right? And uh, Hui is TPing top already, so... I don't think they can start it, so they've, they've pulled off it. So that'll allow Bin to push out bots really hard. And TF's gonna have to match it. And then they can start it again. So maybe after this wave, they'll push this, push this, and then maybe they'll start it. Oh. Whoa, what? That was clean by Shun. Nice E away from Elk there. He eat the Sin Zhao W, so Sin Zhao had to flash. They get the kill anyway. Nice knockback. TP in from Bin. Here comes Knight with the Talia ult. Kanavi's gonna die. Nice response from BLG. Wow, that was a quick collapse by everyone. So that was really smart by, by BLG. The reason it was smart was because Hui TP top, right? Hui TP top and showed. And then what they said was, let's fight mid, be ready. With Talia ult, be ready with Kassanti TP. If TF ults, it's a 4v5, no matter what. So Hui arrives late. So they insta-snap fight. They're gonna get Herald as well. No, oh, that was sick by BLG, actually. I'm surprised Viq flash was that long. How did he hit that? I think Elk wasted flash, but I think he didn't realize that um, Lucian was dead. I think he had, he thought he had the flash auto, but I think Lux auto was midair on her passive to proc the kill. So I, I can see why he flashed. It's fine. They tried to get a top tower out of it as well, but they can't. They could just keep pressuring top though. Caitlyn can keep fogging and just try and chip this down. Or they can base and run to Drake, or they can base and keep pressuring. And then when JDG go to Drake, they can look for Herald top or something. So they know Hui TP top, I think. So Elk tried to finish the kill here, but the auto was there. He eased the W from Zinzao, insta TP as TF lands, and then Knight gets in range for ult, and Hui just can't join. So yeah, I think it's like, sometimes in pro play, you'll take a fight anywhere, in any terms, no matter who's engaging, because you know you have numbers advantage, right? Like, I'll just walk up and hit you, and if you hit me back, then I have a fight, great. Like, any fight is good. So BLG actually went back top, they took top tier 1, so that means they have both side towers now. And uh, yeah, you know what happens when you have both side towers, push out, push out, collapse. Or push out into move, into push, into move, into drop push. So yeah. So Kassante can get bot push because Talia has top push. How? Well, Talia pushes out top, weighs on the tower, Talia moves mid, they get mid push, and then they can fog bot. Or they can herald mid, that works too. I don't think they'll get this. Maybe they will get this tower. I want to have to flash. Vi ult. Lucian's one shot. Kassante ults out. The Zin Zhao. Wow. I mean, what can you do with Lucian against Vi Talia? Holy fuck. You have Milio, but Milio can't ult off the Vi ult, can she? This game looks really hard for JDG. How did that even happen? Lux just had to flash away. I mean, what's the counterplay? Like, what can Ruler actually do? <laughs> it's just one shot. Now I actually think maybe Kassante's in a spot where he can win versus TF. Like, he can't ever out-push him because TF will just blow the wave in base or blow the wave and go into fog. But I think TF can't push and, like, poke Kassante anymore or, like, look for his tower plates or, or tower chunk, sorry. Atalia is mega strong. Holy shit. 19 minutes, Seraph, Shadowflame. Like, Kassante has bot push and he's moving first. 
Why does he have rapid fire cannon? Rapid fire cannon helps TF team fight. Like TF is a pretty decent team fighter. Like he has really good setup. Talia Vi is kind of hard for Lucian to fight. And uh, I think the only way that JDG wins this game is uh, Mr. Huey, because they don't have side push with TF. They can't team fight four v four. I think Huey just needs to scale and maybe he can one shot. Hmm, I guess the game slows down a bit because they can't start Nash. Their turn is okay, but I think they'll get really chunked tanking the Nash. And they're kind of waiting for Kate in IE. Okay, she has IE. Perfect. Well, they're five manning top. They're five manning top on a Drake spawn. Not bad. They'll get top tower as well. Nice play. I guess BLG wasn't expecting them to just full send the top play. They can't do Nash though. Interesting, just five man top. Yeah, Knight has no business defending top tier one. His bot lane is nowhere near collapsing. His top laner has nowhere to TP to. And his jungler's on Drake. Oh, they started Baron and just instantly got Yagao's TP. What the fuck? Maybe it was just TPing from base. Oh, Ruler, you're playing psycho. Someone's getting mad at me in chat for saying that Zeus is better than Bin. He says, look at this game. What has Bin done this game? I mean, he's... he's, he's He's playing a counter matchup. He's down in CS. He got pushed in and he grouped once for a team fight. Like, what? What do you want? What? Hello? The only thing to go off in an international is uh, the shy gapping him so fucking hard that they lost an entire series. I want to see Flandre start blasting these side lanes a bit more. I guess the problem he faces is because Yagao gets pushed in top and Talia can fog that he's scared of um, Talia basing an ulting bot. I guess that's something he could be scared of. He has Ghost and Flash though, he should play it a bit more, especially considering, like, Talia's showing. I guess he just can't step up and poke the Cassante by the looks of it. There is no way Ruler just flashed by accident. He Flash also attacked the pink, hell yeah. Alright, here we go, side push by TF. Oh, what a Mikhail's by on. Shun's dead, but Flandre walked on a trap. Someone block! Kanavi got knight. How is Ruru doing so much damage? Flash reposition. Shun goes way too deep. He gets sucked in by the TF. But then Flandre was on a trap. I guess he was binded. I'm not sure. No one could block. And then Kanavi trades one for one. Not a bad fight overall from both sides. I mean, it's good for JDG. Like, they're slowing the game down and BLG's not getting Nash. And they're 2-2 two two in Drakes, so... They're gonna try and run to Nash and force it. When Vi's bot side with TF ult. Can they rush this down before Vi gets there? No way, right? Oh my god, they're going for it. Do they have the timing? No, they don't. Close. Alright, 3v3 Drake. They have no TF ult now. Hmm, ter Wait, this TF is getting really strong. But why isn't he here? Is he scared of a Nash start? He can force him off mid with rapid fire maybe? I just wish TF was here. Because then they would have to start Nash BLG. Am I wrong? Should Flandre be mid? I get it, he has stun card rapid fire. Maybe he can try and contest mid way. But they're not getting mid push in any universe against Kate and Lux Salia. Also, he won't get in range to auto attack them without getting violated. Oh, Bin made a mistake. Big mistake by Bin. Yagao needs to base. Flandre ulted behind them. Wait, hold up. Flandre? Oh my god. Vi no flash. They tried to pick him. Oh, they got his base cancel on a blue orb. Oh, the Caden ult. Knight! No flash, Knight. Kanavi flash knocked up Elk, but here comes the combos onto Ruler. Help! Flandre no sums. Yeah, GG. I mean, JDG just got outplayed. Was a bit sketchy when Knight face checked that though. I mean, Ruder, how does he play fights? Like, honestly. Vile, Talia WE, Caitlyn traps, Lux Qs, fucking Cassante dashing on him. As soon as he gets Vile, there's so much follow up. Alright. Oh, what? Okay. Mountain Soul's up in a sec. They should be okay to just turn towards Drake here, BLG. If they get Mountain Soul with Cassante Vi, I think it's over. So JDG need to pop a TF ult here or something soon. Because they're losing Drake's ult. Where's my TF ult? Are they just giving it? Oh my god. 
I think it's over without with losing Mount and Soul against these champs. I don't know how uh, I don't know how the Cassante dies. There you go, it's a flash. Ooh, nice knock. Bye bye. Where's the trap? Oh, what the fuck, Sinzao? Lucian culling with Hui did a lot of damage there. Was that TF? I don't know. Are they gonna tier fold? He tier folds mid. He wants them to slow them down so he can get a tier two. But they can't slow them down. I think maybe they should have kept that fight going, but they don't have flash on TF or Lucian, so it's kind of hard to just fight. How did, how did, did they file the, the Xinzao hard? That Xinzao live? BLG didn't have flash either? Yeah, it doesn't matter. They have Kate and Lux Talia. How do you get in range of them without flash? Like Lu Lucian, what's he gonna do? Dash forwards into it? He can't, right? He can't gap close. He has rapid fire, but that's it. Caitlyn is level 17. Oh, wait, does TF just bought IE? Wait, doesn't TF one-shot side towers? I know IE obviously doesn't give tower damage, but like this motherfucker is six grubbies and six items. Can we just fucking push? Can we fucking push? Is he allergic to it? Is he basing for sorcery pot? To go push more? He has zero vision. Yeah, I know, but what you can do is push and then sit in a bush and like chill. And wait till they show around mid and then push more. So he could be pushing again right now. He could be right here pushing again. And there's no Nash up yet. And he sees everyone here. And then Cassante has to come back. And then he can run up with TF ult or something. I don't know. Anything. I just don't know why they're contesting mid waves again. Knight's ult. Oh. Nice stopwatch. Knight has flash up. And he gets chased though. They're gonna lose Baron, but they're gonna get the Talia. Can they push mid really hard? Wait, is Elder spawning? Wait, Elder's up! It's a 4v5 with Elder. I think they get it for free. I don't think BLG can fight it. It's gone. Alright, the game's gonna be... Nothing's gonna happen for two or three minutes now. I promise. Unless, unless BLG randomly get engaged on... They'll use their Baron to stop the Elder. They're just gonna use their Baron to stop the game. Wow, it's crazy that JDG are still competitive in this game. How are they still keeping themselves in it? There's no way BLG tried to TP onto a Twisted Fate. Whoa, what? They killed Melio. How are they giving them a fight, BLG? This is so risky! And they're gonna win! What? What is happening? Well, they can't end. But uh, how are they getting engaged on? Well, but JDG are the ones getting... Huh? Maybe TF showed bot and they thought TF no will just go fight? You good, bro? You have no sums. You good? Flandre? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, it's over. Wait, they can end. I'm fucking... Huh? They just aced them when they had Elder. Okay, GG. They're playing Lucian, Nami versus Caitlyn Lux again? Why are we playing this matchup again? Alright, Akali ban is ban, so Orianna is up, likely to be targeted. Talia looks like a pretty good ban for JDG if they're playing Lucian Rel. Unless they're picking Talia on 4 for Yagao. In that case, they can ban something that's good into Talia. LeBlanc could be, yeah, a good ban. Agreed. That means they're playing Talia on 4, but if they ban Talia, they get Orianna. So Knight has to decide now, does he play Orianna into Talia or does he ban Talia? And then have another pick into it, like Syndra or something. Because obviously he doesn't play Azir, so they ban Azir. And then they can leave 5 pick for top. They could ban something like Udyr here, and ban a top so they can blind Cassante pretty easily. Uh, to target Flandre a bit, if they are not comfortable banning a mid, and they want to trade. But if he blinds Cassante, they could play TF again, so that's annoying. So they ban Aatrox, so that makes me think that they are blinding some kind of tank. So now I think Talia is coming in, or Orianna, or they change it up and go Cassante. I think they can't give Talia over to BLG, impossible. So they take the mid lane trade, it's going to be Talia, Orianna. And then what could happen is just Cassante, TF, or Cassante, Nar. Uh, something like that, unless they want to blind Jax, but I think blinding Jax against Talia is kind of... Ooh, they're gonna go Hui. Knight's Hui? I thought Knight would go his Orianna Classic. Has Knight played Hui yet? Is he first timing it? They're saying Karma. Uh, I don't like Karma with the uh, range supports. I think Karma support, Karma mid with range support is trash. I hate it. Oh, there's the Syndra. No, he's not gonna go Syndra, just go Orianna. Oh, I knew it, you little rat. Oh, he actually is going Hui, okay! Now it's just Flan recount pick top. When did BLG stop having a mental break versus JDG? <laughs> when they took Knight away from them. <laughs> Yoink, my mid now. <laughs> Can't have a mental block versus JDG if you take JDG star player. Also, JDG lost 369, which I think is a big deal. And they lost Knight, obviously. 
It wasn't Ruler the star? I mean, they were both stars. Ruler and Knight. I mean, they're all stars. All right, let's see if Elkanon can play this matchup a bit better. All right, let's see if they can play this Kate and Lux matchup better. Jungle's pathing bot. Kanavi's matching, actually. So maybe they think they can contest bot 3v3 because they have Talia, right? So they should have mid push, but that Talia is under her ta What happened mid? How is Talia half HP underneath her tower? I think Rel's pathing down because the 3v3 is losing, but they should have mid push, no? Doesn't Talia, isn't Talia able to move? I guess not. Maybe level one, it's a bit hard. Oh, she went toward Raptors late. Ah, I see, so she lost push. Looks like Knight might get ganked by Kanavi then. Whoa, they need to be careful not to overchase here. Shun's using bot push to invade. Oh my god, that Vi damage. Can he get the Gromp? Oh, the Rel Q missed. He's just gonna reset it, because uh, Talia can move first, right? Oh, Bin missed Q again. And he blue carded him instead. <laughs> What the hell? No, no Gromp. You want to look for bot dive? Elk flash the bubble. Oh! I think even if he hits the Q there, he's dead. It's a good thing he doesn't flash or like anything. He just stands there and takes it. You won't get the third one, I think, though. So Rel will get her 155 XP from the first Grubby. No flash on Caitlyn. If they knew Vi was on Grump, oh my god. Is Rel gonna do Drake and then full clear up? Or Drake base full clear down? Maybe they're scared by six. But they have really good vision. Is there a kill here? Oh, yes. He, he has Q3 and ult. Oh my god, he failed the Q flash. Oh my god! That was clean that he got out there. It's unfortunate that he um, used ult there, TF. It'd be nice to ult back to lane. I think Yagao tried to wall off the Hui underneath his tower with three range creeps so he could then combo him and make him get tower aggro does he die here he's fine oh now he might be dead oh he stun carded into the vial i think he's fine though soon oh he got him all right that could have been mega int well this is one way to put the tf behind just let bots win in isolation after you into the kill to them and spam gang to TF. I don't think Bin's ever gonna like hard win though, maybe. I'm not sure. But it definitely stops TF's push. He just lost a lot of XP, right? That's the only problem. A lot of XP and uh, minions. I mean, I think him living there versus him going one for one is same outcome. Like, doesn't matter. He just gets more gold this way, right? <laughs> I actually think it's worse for TF to die there. Because even if he didn't die, he has to base and run back anyway. He's not exactly getting a wave. Getting gold on the TF is probably fine. I don't think Vi being... Like, TF versus Vi getting gold, I think Vi... Uh, TF's favorite. Um, oh, nice flash by Knight, but he's stuck in the pit now. Oh, the crab is blocking Talia Q! <laughs> Knight's gonna live! He's gonna die eventually, right? Okay, he's dead. Oh my god. The crab blocks Talia Q. JDG won the fight, actually. Ruler fried them with that culling. Wait, top got solo killed. Okay, so the bots on the map is winning. So it's the reverse of last game. How does he die from this position? Oh my god! What? Well, I can't wait for the Cassante nerf where his Q no longer slows in all out. That means he would never have killed there. Does he die? He has flash up in a sec. Alright, well, it's Lucian versus the world this game. <laughs> and they have Vi again, so that's gonna suck. Because Flandre is not gonna be in this game for a while. He is getting spam ganked. Can they dive the Cassante? I don't think so. Whereas they can dive the TF really easy, even two men. Otherwise, I would put G2 in there. It's a fit team. Alright, they get uh, Herald. It's Dragon. Wait, what soul is it, Chad? I didn't see what soul it was. It's not Mountain. Unless that's a. Is the Mountain thing there? Man, this TF is just gonna try and recover through top. 
PLG aren't in a super winning position yet. Their gold distribution's a bit shitty. Vi being strong helps, but I think she's not really coming out of these dives against Lucian Nami. Nah, this game's gotten really slow real quick. TF wants to stay on side to recover and JDG want to wait for Dragon. BLG can't really punish them. Because they lose the mid trees we contest. So the game's at a bit of stalemate right now. Ruler's gonna have to carry really hard. I think BLG has to fight this Drake. So they group for mid, mid push. Nice chunk on Kanavi. He should be able to heal up though. Oh, Ruder. Really nice cutting. Knight, no TP. Oh, here come the double globals. TF Talia global. Oh, the Lucian is carrying so hard. I mean, what can On do there? He steps one millimeter into river. Talia ult, TF ult on his head. Drake's dead. Maybe this goes to game three. Okay. That tower was basically guaranteed dead. PLG really want to get that bot tier one. Get all three outers and they can start controlling the river a bit better. See if they can get it on this push now. I think Vi is trying to stop TF base so he can't enter bot this evening. And JDG shouldn't be able to rush Nash. So we'll see if they play for this. Vi and Lux are going to stay to try and catch TF on his way back bot. I don't know if they should. Well, they're going to go for it. Don't do it! It worked. TV mid to cover after bot tier one. And now here comes a fight. Shun can't really go in without ult. He's a bit scared. He doesn't want to give the shutdown over to Lucian. So, BLG have all outers. Alright, TF finally gets bot push. Finally. Talia ult's good. Bin's a bit stuck, but he's a tank. Lucian is a bit split on the right. Nice damage. No culling. Oh my god, Knight! He just cooked them. They're definitely not fighting this soul now. Oh my god, he didn't flash that. Oh oh, Yago. What a bubble by missing. He tried to flash the kill on. Doesn't die. He tried to one for one and he was dead anyway. There's no point in flashing away. Man, these games are completely Aram all the time. Did he cancel Rel W? How? Did he Q3 Rel W or something? What happened there? Oh, Vi's- Oh my god, they know Vi's there because of her E. Oh my god, the shove! Shun's griefing! Oh, he flashed the Blast Cone as Flandre tried to auto it. And then Flandre flashed the bin so he couldn't get ulted. That gives Elk mid push. Knight trying to combo the, Ru the Lucian there. Flandre didn't hit the Blast Cone. I thought he was like auto attacking the Blast Cone. And then... Uh, Shun flashed it as he came out of the stun. Doesn't really matter though, because Mountain Soul spawning again. Ruder has almost an LDR. He autoed Vi once. Okay, well, he trolled then. They could have won the game there if Vi died. Oh god, entering this is going to be really hard against Hui Lux. They're just spamming their spells. Oh, Shun gets caught again. But Yagao, does he have Zonyas? Oh, he's out actually. They used a lot onto Kanavi there. Oh, the Kaden ult. Yagao has TP. Flandre has ult. Kanavi's resetting. Drake's up. All of BLG have to rush it quick. So I think they should just drop bot tempo and go for a Nash rush here. I would love if JDG went for a Nash rush here. They can never retake bot side. I think they're wasting so much time here. Actually, they have no smite. Maybe they are here in time. They're not going to go for the Nash rush. They're here in time. The TP and the TF ult. It's sketchy though because it's a 4v4. And they're losing it. Oh my god, he's dead as well. Get the dragon! Get the dragon! Get the dragon! Oh my god, Kanavi WD has flash though! Oh, he got knocked out of the Lux Q! <laughs> and he's trapped! Help! Now BLG should rush Nash. They have Hui TP for Baron. He could just TP up here or something and run down, or he can TP on mid wave, doesn't matter. Just put a ward maybe, that'll help. Any wards? Anyone got a ward? Anyone got a ward? They have no wards for him to TP to! No! Oh, they do. 
You got us, no whoop, no whoop, no TP. Alright, so... JDG got Mountain Soul. But they lost Nash, so they're down in gold, obviously. But if they can hold out, they're gonna be fine. Wow, this might come down to an Elder fight. Why are both these games gonna go into 40-minute bangers? Well, I guess they're quite slow, but... Messy games. TF's pushing top. Uh, uh, uh. His tower damage is kind of low. He'll get it, though. Are they gonna TF ult here on Atalia wall? No, nah, no way, right? They're just gonna Atalia wall to slow them down. Wait, he TF ulted. Why is this motherfucker not pushing still? What is TF doing? He should just be hitting their inib tower. They're gonna lose inib, aren't they? No matter what. This was dead no matter what. And they could never end. Why does this motherfucker not just push, pull Cassante and then TF ult on them? They must have lost vision somewhere. He must have lost vision on someone, right? He must have lost vision on someone. There's no way he would do this otherwise. Maybe he thought Cassante had based. But he had ult up. He must have seen all five of them mid. Even still, like, he ulted. And while he was hitting, he saw five of them, and then he ulted here and based. So, like, the ult, initially I get it if he lost vision, but then why does he reset? This inib's dead no matter what, he can't help it. He should just push, maybe force Kasante base and then just reset, get an extra wave in. Then it wouldn't be... I don't know. It is what it is. Oh, he got trapped. What, what hit him? Oh, Bin buffered it! <laughs> For once, Kasante is the one that takes the L. But he's just gonna base in TP anyway. They lost Nami ult. Man, Kanavi is just perma-trapped. Alright, here comes the Elder fight. Vin's gonna TP in, but he has no ult yet. Rudo's gonna try and chunk him. Oh, they're Talia ulting him. Okay, they did a bit of damage. TF stun card hit Caitlyn. Top wave's pushing. Someone just flashed on the spot, and it was Knight, I think. Okay, perfect. What is happening? Did Knight just flash on top of himself? Or did he flash away? He flashed ruler. Okay, good. Wow, what is Fadre doing? Oh my god, Yagao is crazy! What? The whale just cooked him alive! Oh my god, Yagao landed another knock. Wait, they're gonna get Elder. Wait, Flandre got caught, but Yagao flashed over and punished them catching him. Wait, Yagao smurfed that. Ruler was max damage, but Yagao got two fucking shoves. They're gonna reset. Here comes round two. So Flandre ults to the left on a blue orb. Then they see it instantly. But Yagao sees them going on him. He's gonna flash over and he's gonna double knock the back. So he gets Lux and Caitlyn. Then it gets better. Because as he's fighting his way out, this whale does insane damage. He gets another shove on Knight and stuns him too. So he got three like core targets there. It's a bit of a flip. We got TPs. Caitlyn's not here yet. <laughs> oh, 1 HP! I saw 1 HP! Now they're gonna get Nash. So they have Soul, Baron, and Elder. Surely they can end, right? They should just push top and run it the fuck down with TF Rapid Fire right now. Alright, Min and Bot here too. Oh, Rula. Is this going to a game free? How much of it? They have 30 seconds of Elder left. Looks like they might not be able to end unless they can find some kind of engage. They might get mid and bot in it, but that's it. Top wave's really far. And they don't have the time to push for an end, so I think this might be the end of their push. They're gonna try go top, but I think that thing's slow pushing. So they're not even gonna get this wave, they're gonna get the next wave. Well, it's not actually slow pushing, it is what it is. It's like slow second. Oh, what a Mikhail's. Why are they fighting? Oi. One for one. Nothing's really gonna happen then if it's one for one. JDG can't... Well, I mean, maybe they can push more. They have 15 seconds of Nash and they have Talia ult. So what Yagao could do is just Talia ult here and maybe they can force triple in him. He's not gonna do it. Why isn't he doing it? Why isn't he Talia ulting? Oh, is this too late? The wave's dead now. Oh, what? I think, he, I think they could have maybe played for triple in there on that Talia ult. That was a bit troll. He needs to ult to defend the wave. Wait, this guy has Edge of Night last? 
All right, everyone should be coming out of the ads now. I apologize. It was a one for one top. They didn't get triple nib. They only got min and bot. They tried to see shot tier three, but they couldn't get it. I think a bit of a misplay. They probably should have got it. Yeah, Gao, inti yeah, Gao is not inting. I mean, he, his team fighting was good, I guess. So that saves whatever else he's doing this game. <laughs> I can't believe Flandre after this game, like of like messiness, he's he's gonna flame Horizon, Bin. Like the way the JDG's map functions now, obviously, is Drake spawns, TF has top push. Talia can ult to join if he threatens through top area. They get mid push, and then if they walk to Drake, they're really vulnerable through top. And if they walk to top, they're really vulnerable through Drake because of globals, right? So I think with this vision, TF just needs to really push hard. And the only way BLG can break this... I mean, they can't. They just have to try and hope they can chunk them out or find a pick. Like that. Oh my god, it's a blast cone bug! Yo, it's the blast cone bug! Is it the bug? He just went up and up instead of across. It was the bug that uh, Rakan had, right? Riot said it was a bug, right? And then they, they chrono baked for Hilly Rakan. It's same, no? They don't have TF ult for this. Top tier, tier 3 died. I can't believe they're flipping Elder. Guys, why did TF back away? I would love some kind of base pressure, but it looks like BLG have the... Whoa, you gotta watch out. Flandre's on the side. Bin's taking huge damage. The Elder's dead. Oh, they're gonna run to Nash again. Oh shit, Yagao! Oh, here they go again. Elder, it's over now. I think JDG wins. Wow, Flandre actually won this game? Ruler, my god. Yeah, I think it's it's GG now. It's simple. Baron, reset, come out, top mid. And Ruler just has to drop a culling when it's up and he's gonna one-shot someone. I'm waiting for Lucian culling. I can't wait to see this Lucian culling damage. Oh my god, he missed. Fuck, Ruler, man. Fuck was that? Nah, there's no way they can hold this, right? Oh, Bin couldn't ult backwards, he ulted forwards. Oi, mama. I'm waiting for Ruler to one-shot someone. Do the thing. Oh, he's gonna play for Nexus, Ruler. Play for kills. Alright, game three. Wow. I thought this would be a 2-0 BLG. But JDG, get it back. That was a bit of a sketchy game from both teams. A lot of mistakes, but turned into a psycho game eventually, which was good. Nico first pick. Don't play Zeri. Don't play Zeri. Don't play Zeri. Don't play Zeri. Karma Zin is good. Classic. Nico Lee Sin. I mean, you can't really pick Cassante, but Nico Lee Sin sounds good. I wouldn't mind. I mean, they could pick Estrel on three. They could pre-pick something here, but they have Kaisa, Caitlyn, and Zeri for four or five. So I think they can drop AD and pick Lee Sin and top. But uh, Flandre can't really blind Cassante. He could pick Aatrox, but I think if he blinds Aatrox, he picks Jax. If he blinds Cassante, he picks Jax. If he blinds Udyr, he picks Cassante or Jax. Udyr, uh, he's a Jax merchant, that guy. Bin Darius. Damn, Bin! Alright, Zeri ban is not bad. Zeri ban, they could ban Zeri. Then they could ban Kate. Then they could ban Kai'Sa. Then they could ban Estril. And then they could pick... Uh, they banned Braum. They want Nautilus on four. Huh? Wait, hold up. They banned Braum. There's the Caitlyn ban that I expected. Why didn't they ban uh, Zeri? Now ban Kaisa, force Estriel ban, and pick Zeri yourselves? Oh my god, I know why they ban Braum. They're playing Draven. They're gonna play Draven, aren't they, on four? But they have Estriel. But Estriel doesn't have Braum or Karma now. So they'd have to play Estriel Bard if they want to play Estriel. Maybe Draven ban's worth it. Zaya ban? Who the fuck wants Zaya? Go on, pick Draven on four. Do it, pussy. Draven Darius, you won't. You won't? Don't pick Zeri. Don't be cringe. Don't pick Estriel either. You're so cringe. Why don't you pick Draven? Oh, there's the Nautilus that I expect him to play because of the brown band. Then they could pick Draven on five. Oh, the Nautilus. It's actually really smart because now if they blind this roll, you can play Kai'Sa. Is he going to go Bane? It's good here. Darius, Nautilus, Sinzao. Now if they play Kai'Sa, they're going to play Draven, Nault, and they can't pick... Oh my god. They have to play like Kai'Sa Rel or some shit or Kai'Sa Leona. Kai'Sa Alistar. I don't know. But they're going to play against Draven, Nault. Oh my god. Wait, actually, Alistar... Kaisa Udir, it's a good Vayne game for BLG as well. Vayne is good into Kaisa. And Alistar. And Udir. But I think he's gonna go Draven. They're playing Tristana bot. I would say BLG's draft is slightly better, but I mean if they fuck it up, then they're screwed. Alright, what have we got? BLG watered Raptors early to try and track Lee Sin pathing. They're not sure where he starts. Shun is starting on blue. You don't see that too often. I guess he wants to path into the Darius lane. 
Darius wants to fight level 1 into Udyr. I think Darius murders Udyr, doesn't it, chat? I remember Darius was the counter pick into Udyr, like Keen played it and shit, didn't he? Well, we, don't, we all know Bin's a psychopath already. We just pop ghost on him. What the fuck? <laughs> that was so degenerate. Almost killed him. Well, now Udyr can't lane, but Darius has no sums, so... Junglers! <laughs> Whichever jungler comes top wins, I guess. Bin's level 2. Just show me top, please. Oh dear, can't farm. I don't want to watch bot. Show me top. They're question mark pinging. Oh, he took Q second. Why'd he take Q? Wouldn't it be better if he took E? Oh, Lee Sin has red buff advantage, but Karma has mid push. Otherwise, Lee Sin could go on him here. Oh my god, he is running in a straight line. Oh, Udyr's dead, I think. Oh, the stun timing was great. Oh, he's trying to cover the dive here. Uh oh. Ui, mama. Shun? Are we gonna wrap around there? Be careful, you get one shot. Be careful, Shun, you get one shot. Oh, Q miss. Oh my god, he's still going though. Alright, well, jungle lost flash, top lost flash. BLG not finding the lead they wanted to through top and Flandre can his base and TP now, so... BLG in a sticky situation. Kai'Sa, what happened to Kai'Sa? Oh, Alistair at the flash. Uh-oh, it's warded in there! <laughs> the ward expired so we knew it was there. Oh, the Udyr didn't get his base off, so they're not too bad of a problem through top yet. But Kanavi's gonna revisit, or... No sums on the Darius. There's a ward there, buddy. There's a ward there, buddy. Oh my god, Nautilus is top as well. Wow, Kanavi is patient. <laughs> oh, they're going for it. Oh, he has no stun. Yo, on, go the other way. Now, they, are they gonna dive them on the stack? Oh my god, LPL. He's gonna get dove on the stack. Kanavi warded for it, though. Maybe Nico has the TP, I'm not sure. Oh, they went for the, the Lee Sin. Smart! And then Bin gets first blood! What in the fuck is happening? He eat out of tower range. The Darius bleed! Darius is 2-0 from all of that! <laughs> what a mess! What a mess. Now Tristana is going to be the biggest loser of all of that. Darius got kills, but at what cost? Pepe, Pepe hands. Alright, well, Phage and Boots first base for Darius is huge, and BLG now have a bouncing wave bot, and jungle's quite strong, so they're gonna force this uh, dragon. Alistar no flash. Darius is 6, so top should be really favored. I don't think he needs to get the push if his team's on Drake, he can just chill a bit with his pink. Oh, he didn't get the E range, but still, Flanre used EE, so he wouldn't have got it anyway. 11 CS lead bot for a... 15 CS lead pop or whatever it is, 10 CS if he catches this wave or whatever, and 2 kills. Oh. I think I think on shouldn't have flashed because I think Nico needed to flash there no matter what. I think Nico had to flash out of the root. And if he didn't, then he could have flash hooked him on the root. Flandre can't really lane. They lose this 2v2 mega hard. Oh my god, Kanavi's dead. Oh, the W. Oh, Ben! No flash on Nico too! <laughs> Top side is a fucking horror. Bin Darius, holy shit. Look at Knight's little smile. He's not doing anything. He knows the game's over. Elk, you're doing God's work. You're sitting under tower, getting pushed in while you're top lane. Wow, I'm so surprised that they fought this though, JDG. Well, Draven is, uh, Darius is 5-0, so top is unlaneable. Yeah, it's kind of sad that JDG lost 3-6-9 for this. Like, not that Flander is just playing bad this game. I just don't think he's a reliable player when it comes to big games. Not that he's a choker, he's just not good enough. But Kanavi also into it a bit, yeah, you're right. But um, in the long extended play, the Nautilus carried the play right early. But uh, Kanavi kind of got into by Udyr there. I don't know the comms though. I think he, he won Worlds a long time ago, right? Three years ago? I don't know if he still got it. Obviously, he's still good enough for LPL, but I don't know if winning Worlds will work with him. Well, it should be over. But looking at how the series has gone so far, maybe it's not. We'll see. TP in from uh, Knight. Flandre can TP down as well. Yagao can TP in as well. There is a TP from Yagao. Here comes the TP from Flandre on the same ward. 
And now they double TP'd for a dragon. And they have no Alistar ult. And no Nico W. Nautilus has no ult as well. Bin isn't that strong yet. I know he's 5 0, but he doesn't have Triforce. He's, he's like a phage. It's okay for fight, I think, here for JDG. Okay, well, Yagaud is with his ult. Elk almost ran it. Yagao kind of had to ult there because he was dead. Oh, what a kick flash from Kanavi. Massive shutdown to Ruler on Kaisa. Oh, what a heal from Ruler as well. He just baited them in. Knight has to flash. Whoa, BLG lost the fight. Oh, I get it now. They get Flandre, so if he loses top enemy, top has a shutdown, so they can then feed Ruler more by getting him more shutdown gold. Wait! Hold up! They switched it up. To get more gold, you need worse players sometimes. If you have better players always, you never get shutdown gold. Uh-oh. Ruler is fed on Kai'Sa. Well, oh, they're gonna go for a dive on Yagao. Missing's here to cover. Ruler's coming down. His ult's not up yet, though. BLG can't pull this off. Is Bin gonna solo Herald? Trust me, Bin, you can't solo Herald. I tried it. It takes forever. Should have him away. On had a really nice ult there. Ruler? Ruler stands his ground. Oh my god, how is he living here? I thought he would blast Cone out. Wait, how did Knight solo kill Yagao? Oh my god, Kanavi and Ruler are just 2v5ing the game with Missing's Alistar. It's crazy. Man, they probably really missed Knight in 369 now. Kanavi's laughing. <laughs> he knows his solo lanes are fucked, but Ruler's probably like, look at him spam talking. Give me mid wave, give me top wave, give me bot wave, Flandre, stop anything, more ruby crystals, Yegao, fucking flash in and die. You put Faker in there? Oh, kick onto on. Okay, no flash. Ruler, if you ult in there, you're a psychopath. Okay, well, Kanavi's gonna go in there for you if you want. Guys, what is happening? We're diving them between towers. Oh, he got the clip on tonight. Guys, what is happening? Kanavi! Ruler. <laughs> oh my god, man. Ruler and Kanavi are literally carrying the whole game. Bin wants to flash on Ruler. Run, Ruler, run. He's gonna flash on your head. Don't flash, Ruler, don't flash. Not worth it. Oh! Oh, he got him, though. <laughs> Mega worth it. And he got Tristana. And, and Darius flash. Bro, this is... Um, is, is, is it, what is happening? How is JDG, like, competing after Darius gets five kills in six minutes? Bin was way too late to the fight. Yeah, of course he was. I mean, he doesn't have TP, right? That's why Udyr TP'd in. That's what, probably why... I think what they're doing is playing away from Darius, right? Oh, team fighting Drake. They can't play away from Darius now. But Darius has no sums. That really hurts his team fighting. And they have Nico, Nico Flash. Kanavi. He's looking for a kick. Look, look Kanavi. Maybe, maybe he's looking for a kick here. Oh, Yego! Oh, Yego! Uh, Kanavi solo killed Elk. Shun's down. Ruler has ult. Give him some CC. It's Ruler's kingdom. He don't need 369. He don't need Knight. He needs a fucking CC stun bot and he'll kill everyone. Holy fuck, they're winning. <laughs> re re respect though, Yagao. Like, motherfucker was useless. And then he just hit one ult in a fight. And Ruler takes it from here. Don't you worry. Uh, I have to say, Ruler had a really easy job in this fight. He didn't really have any threat. Yagao got a five-man ult and Kanabi solo killed Elk. Ruler's job was just a hit. But still, nicely played. I don't think Ruler like popped off super hard that fight. I think he just uh, kind of like played front to back, but I mean, he is carrying the game, right? But Kanavi smurfed it. He's a full item up on Tristana. Yo, if you keep trying to one-gam me, I'm gonna permanent you. Right. Actually, it's my fault. I shouldn't read it. Why do I read it? He's doing it on purpose. Oh, the Blast Cone? Oh, he just insect him. Oh, nice Zinzawul to knock back the Nico. That could have been game. Maybe this game, though. It's a pentakill for Ruler? No, I'm not gonna dive. 
I thought they would dive with Udio and Alistar ult. They have no flashes, right? Missing? You're, you're, you're good. Elk jumped in. He has no reset. Oh, Ruler's ult was a bit of a fail. I think he tried to ult up over the wall and fight Elk. Oh, Flandre! Nice kick from Kanavi. Hit Elk. Yeah, Gao's gonna die. It's a mess! They don't have a wave! They were just tanking it. The wave was coming. Now BLG have a lot of tempo. They can herald through mid. Fed Kaisa is so fun to watch. Yeah, I agree. I think Kaisa as a champ is just fun to watch. Like a really good Kaisa is really nice to watch. Can BLG win? Mm, it's really hard. Maybe on Rabadon's Karma if Ruler makes a mistake. I don't know. The problem is you have so much setup. Nico Alistar Lee Sin is really fucking annoying to play against Tristana. How do you move? Like, how do you auto attack? You hit Udir a couple times, who's a full tank, and then what? Nico's flashing on you, Lee Sin's flashing on you, Kai'Sa ulting on you, there's an Alistar flash up, like. Really hard for him to find any time to get uptime to hit. Mantra Qs are strong this game because of the build path from a lot of the players, right? Like the Udir is full armor, but uh, don't think it matters too much. Doesn't feel like a lot of damage. Does he have BT and base ruler? Yeah, he does. Jesus, man. All right, this uh, Kai says five items, level 15. They're trying to zone away Shun so they can finish. Can Shun steal it? Kanavi can ward jump kick and Q backwards. Oh, he R flashed in. <laughs> Wait, Flanders got it. Nico ult was kind of bad. But there's Ruler. Wait, they're losing. How does Ruler play this? Oh, he eat the Nautilus flash. Oh, he got hooked though. Ruler! He's 1v4! Ruler's 1v4! That's one! Oh, he dodged the Mantra Q! Oh, he got two! Oh, if he had flash, he probably would have won that. Nice try, nice try. Wow, BLG actually aced him. Tristana got a lot of uptime because Nico, like Yagugu, just ulted on himself and maybe he didn't flash or he couldn't flash, I'm not sure. Wow, that was close. That was really close to like a mega montage play of the year for Ruler in that one before, if he pulled it off. It was insane reaction from Ruler. If he dodged that hook, uh, if he had vision in the bush, he could cook a bit more. He blue orbed it, but they killed the blue orb. Nah, it wouldn't change anything, I think. Maybe he could have chased down. Ah, I mean, I'm not going to criticize for Minmax, right? Like, I think it's really hard in the moment. I think he played it as good as possible. Small chance, maybe he could have gone down instead of up and tried to look for Trist, but he didn't have vision, right? Really nice try. All right, Flanders is dead. Is he dead? He has EE. Does he ult this? Okay, he ulted him and then... <laughs> All right, I mean, this is kind of scary because BLG are getting some big breakpoints, right? Like, Rabidons is up. They're building towards BT on Trist. They didn't throw the game, but, like, BLG is Barak. Whoa, what the fuck? He did more than his whole team combined times two. <laughs> What is Flanders doing in his top side? He is running it. <laughs> you could say that he, he flundered, get it? Bro, if Ruler loses this game, Ruler, I'm sorry if you lose this game. I apologize on behalf of Ned Flanders, Yagugu, Missing, and Kant Navi. Oh, Yagugu e missed E. What? He got in midair. Nice, big shutdown. Is Ruler building Phantom Dancer last? What is he building? Bot tier 2 might be dead for this. Because uh, Udyr TP'd in. So they just lose a tower. Ruler is 6 items. Oh, this is going to be a crazy fight coming up. This is going to be a crazy fight. Everyone is so strong. Except for Ned Flanders. But he's tanky. Ruler needs a max win. I need a max win. Who did he put Anathemas on? I'm guessing with all that armor, he probably put it on Karma. Level 17, Kai'Sa. He sold Terminus on board LDR. Alright, let's get it, Ruler. Oh, you, you, you go! Oh, pick onto Bin! Is he out? Death Dance, baby. Nash is spawning as well. That's a really bad timer by Bin. I mean, Shun can play for steel, but I don't know if this is contestable. Mantra Q misses. Missing's marking the Sins out. How are BLG walking up to this and, like, threatening a contest? Missing can go in. They don't have Kai'Sa ult, so they don't have to worry too much. They need to clear out mid-wave. There's no Dragon Timer for their soul. <laughs> he went from 5-0 to 5-5. Yeah, he kind of did. Alright, soul is spawning soon. I mean, BLG could fight the soul. They don't have to. 
But the problem is there's nothing to cross map. There's no top tier three. <laughs> I don't think they can just walk. I mean, they could just walk and take an inib, I guess, if they really wanted to. I think it's. I don't know if it's TOS for me to show you. Yeah, they dropped it. Elk has GA. I mean, that actually doesn't surprise me. It's Elk. Like, it's probably good for him to have GA. He's a psychopath. He's, he plays Tristana like he's Kha'Zix. Shun's only level 15. They have Karma Shields for Sin Zhao Trist, which is quite strong. Their Nash is often 30. Maybe they can get a top tier 2. Looks like they should be able to get it with this wave coming in. Looks pretty easy. But that'll be it. I can't believe they have four Chemtechs. Four! I don't think I've ever seen that before. Four Chemtech Dragons? Imagine they had Mountain or Infernal or anything else. They're sieging top with no Nash. I don't think they can get anything here unless they have some way of forcing them off. Oh, Shun's trying to force it. On just R flash the Kai'Sa trying to... Oh, Kenobi just got banged! Oh no, Ruler! Yeah, go, go! Nice flash by Elk, but Ruler doesn't have damage. He can't get through the front line anymore. Can they end mid? Knight has TP for the wave. Ruler's trying to stop his base. No, Ruler, I'm sorry. It's over. Ruler, I'm sorry. Ruler, I'm sorry. Not like this. Did you just sell boots and buy Hurricane? Ah, uh, Ruler, I'm sorry. You can't do it. Ah, uh, Ruler, I know. I know, me too. I'm the I would do the same. Just run it down. <laughs> Lost for a tower. They're sieging top with no Nash. Man, last year Viper and Gala were hard stuck. Gala on RNG and Viper on Humble Life before Gala went to LNG in summer. But now Ruler is just him. He's stuck. 